In late 2019, health authorities in Wuhan, China reported a cluster of pneumonia cases of unknown origin. New cases began to rapidly spread, and a novel coronavirus was identified as the cause of the outbreak. The virus has been named SARS-CoV-2, and the disease it causes has been named Coronavirus Disease 2019, or COVID-19. By January 30th of 2020, the International Health Regulations Emergency Committee of the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. The next day, the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary declared a public health emergency for the United States. The virus, which can be fatal, spread quickly in 2020 to infect people in countries across the globe. Symptoms for those infected range from fever and cough to shortness of breath, with reports of everything from mild to severe illnesses. While this specific virus is new to scientists, it is believed to spread like similar coronaviruses. This would include person-to-person -person spread and the ability to spread from contact with infected surfaces or objects. While the medical community works to develop a vaccine, the CDC says that the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. The agency recommends that people take every day preventive actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases, including avoiding close contact with people who are sick, avoiding touching one's eyes, nose, and mouth, staying home when sick, covering coughs and sneezes, cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe, and thoroughly washing one's hands. Regarding workers in the U.S. that could come in contact with the virus, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration posted information in early 2020 that exposure risks may be elevated for some workers who interact with potentially infected travelers from abroad, including those involved in health care, death care, laboratories, airline operations, border protection, solid waste and wastewater management, and those who have to travel to areas where the virus is spreading. These are just a few things to know about COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, and potential exposure risks. To learn more about this or other infection control, occupational, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.